Hello guys, this is upgrade number 5. Yeah, so I installed already one of the tool tube. They call this tool tube. So the size of this is about 4 inch in diameter. That's uh, inside. It's 112 outside, I think. And about 108 inside, so 4 inches can fit there. The length is uh, about 12 inches. The dimensions. I will share in the description and the link as well. So this is how I installed it. So using the original cross card, I mounted it there using three, uh, three pieces of bolts and nuts over here and another one down below. And I use a, a plank of wood there to, to, to secure it. And then I use another one, a small one inside as a stopper. I'll show you on the other side on how I did it, yeah. So it looks, uh, you don't need to make it really very, uh, you know, sturdy. I mean, it's already sturdy enough, but it should be good enough. And you don't want to put it so near the engine because that's hot. Um, although it's not possible probably to melt this one because these are also made of plastic. But yeah, it's better to, you know, have some breathing space there for the engine. So that's it there. This is the tool tube. Yeah. Usually many people put it here in, in the back of the bike or maybe somewhere there inside but it won't fit. <laughs> or maybe here. But I'm opted to put it at the front like that. Yeah. So yeah, something like that. As you've seen on the other side. And for that, this is what I used. I have I cut into a triangular shape. A piece of wood, yeah. Drill two, three holes there. I'm using the holes here as the template, yeah, and one at the bottom. And this would be my stopper, yeah. And these are the nuts and bolts. And by the way, to secure it into the uh, this, you need the two pieces of wood screw. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's very simple. I already placed one screw there and another one just about there. So it's very important that you use a plain washer yeah, on the wood side and a, uh, and a lock washer. The lock washer, as the word implies, it locks so it prevents it from turning. So you need to put it there and so that's free. I just realized I put it in reverse so it should be facing this. Yeah. Like this yeah yeah all right not too late this is good so this would be the last touch to drill two holes there yeah like that for the screw hope you can see it last but not the least <laughs> put the cap back oh no it's moving a little bit but it's fine it's not gonna fall Fully installed, this is how it looks like. Right side and left side. Yeah. So good room, enough room for the for the foot, for the legs rather. Yeah. And my war here is should the bike fail, fall rather. Uh, I don't know what would happen to this. So I don't know. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen. <laughs> But anyway, um, more important really is your, is your safety. I think this could actually provide some room, uh, you know, more protection for the leg and yeah, when you fall. So it's like a, a cross guard, yeah. So if it fails, you can replace it with a new one. So that's okay. At least your leg is safe. So yeah, really good. Looks good. So that's upgrade number five. Thank you guys.